Good morning, everybody. Welcome to back to Petra's Happy Place. Today's devotional is about mercy. And uh, our beatitude that we're going to be covering is blessed are the merciful. But um, before I get into that, I would like to go to the Lord in prayer. And I just want to draw your attention to the announcements or the community tab where I have the um, prayer requests listed. I did go and update some of the prayer requests. And if you happen to go through it and have updates yourself, please reach out to me and let me know so I can either add or um, update the current prayers um, that have been listed. Okay. And um, yeah, that's, that's going to be it for the updates of prayer requests. Um, today, I want us to focus on, as far as prayer, let's focus on those that um, that are in, obviously everybody that's on the prayer list, but I just realized that there are so many who have like crazy weather going on right now, and um, uh, let's pray for those that are in sweltering heats right, heat right now, and um, don't have air conditioner or those that are in, uh, have a lot of weather, weather related stuff going on that, um, they're suffering through, whether it be, um, uh, you know, arthritis or, um, those kinds of issues from the, from the changes in the weather and the humidity. There's so many people, I'm going to count myself as one of them. Um, that have issues with that. So let's keep those specifically in our prayers today, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for caring about us, caring about the small things in our lives as well as the big ones and that with you, everything about us is important. Um, all we need to do is call out to you, to Lord Thank you for this new day that you've given us to serve you and bless you. I ask that you would uh, show us the opportunities where we can reach out in your name. Thank you for taking care of all those that are on the prayer list. For those that are spoken, those that are unspoken. Whatever the need might be, Lord, I pray that you would touch lives and open our eyes to the fact that you are the one that is in control. Thank you for caring about us. I ask all these things in your precious son's name. Amen. I first want to start off by thanking everybody for, for joining me during these devotions. Um, I, I know that um, a lot of people might not like uh, doing devotions, and that's quite all right with me. I'm not forcing anybody. That's why I label these what I do. Um, but I know the, the algorithms, if you will, or whatever, and they, they, they see godly stuff happening and the devil is just wanting to kibosh things so i'm going to press on i'm going to press on and do the devotionals as long as i can and i i thank you for joining me okay so let's get right into this we are doing the beatitudes and today's is verse seven which says blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy. Okay, so <laughs> this is one of my favorites because I pray for God's mercy. <laughs> you know, even in, in my prayer just now, I, I pray for mercy. I, I thank him for his mercy because without it, <laughs> oh my goodness, where would we be, right? Um. I, I did a little bit of research on a different word before, and that word is forgiveness. And um, 
<laughs> Interestingly enough, the word mercy and forgiveness um, many times are synonymous. And in this verse, it's also synonymous. And um, it goes back to this whole idea of forgiving somebody their debts. Now, here in this verse, it says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Now, I don't necessarily want to say that the mercy that we will receive is from others, although it could be. But I, I want to um, uh, point out that it doesn't make any difference if anybody else forgives us or shows us mercy. It's the Lord, right? It is God who is important in showing us mercy. So um, I want to read um, a verse out of the model prayer, or what many people call the Lord's Prayer. Hold on just a minute. Mm. Coffee, coffee. Okay, so in Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, Oh, I'm sorry, verse 12, it says, And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And please note the order of that. It says, forgive, and, okay, the disciples were asking Jesus how to pray, okay? And they're, they're praying to God. So he's showing us how to pray to God. And it says, basic, Petrus translation, God um, in the way that we forgive others, forgive us. It doesn't say forgive us so that we can forgive others. No, mm -mm. that's not what this, what this says. Forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And then down in verse 14 and 15, it says, if, for if you forgive others for their transgressions, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Did you catch that? Let me read it again. For if you forgive others for their transgressions, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive your transgressions. Ouch! Ouch! So, um, that... <laughs> That is scary, okay? But I did some I did some research on the word forgive, okay? And um, I want I want us to to look at this in a monetary sense because I think some of us can understand that. Um, let's say. Um, somebody owes us $20, okay? And they can't pay it back. They're not able to pay it back. Forgiveness means saying, okay, don't worry about paying me back. I'm good. We're good. We're square. I'm not going to hold it over your head. I'm not going to ask for it in the future. It never happened. Wow. That's, that's big, right? Okay. So let's take that a step further. That's a monetary way. And that's something that we can think of that is like, um, really uh, tangible. So let's go to something else. Let's say someone lied to you about something fairly important. Now, you can look at the situation and go, well, they lied to me and I'm not, you know, that that's 
our friendship is over, da 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 da, whatever, however you want to say it. Forgiveness says, I see that you lied to me. Now you don't have to say this to them, okay? This is this is between you and God. Many times this is just between you and God. I forgive them for lying for me to, to me. I'm not going to bring it up again. I'm not going to I'm not going to hold it over them. I'm not going to ever think about it again. They don't owe me anything. They don't even owe me an apology. It's done. It's done. It is as if they never lied to me to begin with. Wow. Isn't it interesting how we act that way to others? Not that way, excuse me. We don't act that way to others all the time, okay? For some reason, we keep using this, this excuse, oh, we're just human. We, we're going to bring it up again. Mm -mm. Do we expect God to forgive us that way? Or do we expect God to forgive everything and forget about it and never hold it against us again? Oh, my goodness. That's the way God operates. And we're called to forgive others. Not because God forgave us, but it says in the same manner that you forgive, God forgives you. Wow. Let, let, let's, let's think about that for a minute. Are there things in our lives that we go, Man, I just, I wish God would forgive me for that. I, I, I really messed up and I just feel like he has not forgiven me for that. Okay. Take a look at the way we forgive others. Are we require, are we requiring anything from them? Do they still owe us for something? If we feel that they still owe us something from what they did to us, is there any wonder why we believe that God hasn't truly forgiven us? Because the scripture says that when he forgives, he wipes it from the east to the west. I mean, he, he doesn't remember it anymore. I'm going to read another scripture. This is one of my favorite verses here, Matthew 18. Um, in Matthew 18, we, we read about um, a perfect example of this, okay? Ch starting with verse 21 through the end of the chapter. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? <laughs> Jesus said to him, I don't say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Now, in in the day that he that this was written, okay, these words were spoken, seven was infinity, okay? So he was basically saying there is no cap on the times you forgive somebody. I mean, it's unlimited. If they do the same thing to you every day of your life, you're supposed to forgive them every day of your life. <laughs> okay, so it says, for this reason, the king, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king. Okay, it says for this reason. Which reason is that? Forgiveness. It's talking about forgiving. Okay. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he had begun to settle them, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. That was a lot of money. Okay, I don't know how much it was worth, but it was worth a lot of money. But since he did not have the means to repay, the Lord commanded him to be sold along with his wife and children and all that he had and repayment to be made. 
so the slave fell to the ground and prostrated himself before him saying have patience with me and i will repay you everything and the lord of the slave felt compassion and released him and forgave him his debt but that slave went out and found one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii okay first of all there was a a thousand talents ten thousand talents which is way way more one talent was way way more than one little denarii okay he owed him a hundred denarii and he this man seized him and began to choke him, saying, Pay back what you owe. So his fellow slave fell to the ground and began to plead with him, saying, Have patience with me and I will repay you. But he was unwilling and went and threw him in prison until he should pay back what was owed. So when his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were deeply grieved and came and reported to their Lord all that had happened. Then summoning him, his Lord said to him, you wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not also have had mercy? Oh, there's that word mercy mercy so it's the same as forgiveness shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow slave in the same way that i had mercy on you and his lord moved with anger handed him over to the torturers until he should repay all that was owed him my heavenly father this is jesus talking now my have because it's in red it's in red so it's jesus's words my heavenly father will also do the same to you if each of you does not forgive his brother from your heart can we all just say a big old ouch together when was the last time we had trouble forgiving somebody for something that they did or said to us? We have such a hard time with that sometimes. There are certain people who just grate us to our very core. Forgiveness, mercy. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful. We need to be merciful before we can receive mercy. Oh, oh, that we would be more like him. Amen. Dear Lord, help us. Have mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> Let me have mercy. Okay, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this devotional. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Okay. Bye-bye now.